um, like Twitch plays Pokemon. Like you're just Flathead, right? Yeah. You're just so, texting in your. Oh, so Flathead's the one you were talking about earlier. Flathead was Fox earlier. Now using the Kirby. Oh, he's counter picking. Looks that way. Yeah. And we remember Cool Lime from earlier as well. Playing with the Falcon. So yeah, I was very impressed with Flathead's uh, Fox play against Billy earlier. Like I said, it was a double four stock. But we'll see what Flathead's able to do against a more experienced player like Cool Lime. Oh, and needed a fastball there. Let's keep the combo going. Oh, oh. bad airspace for Kirby. Yeah. Combo starting. Is he going to spike him down? Missed it, but yeah. caught the leftovers again. Yeah. Uh, that's something I saw Cool Lime do earlier, I think. It's just like missing the combo and just drifting in and doing another attack. Yeah, that. But he had used his jump, so that can be risky. Yeah. Um, cool Lime confidently going out there with the upper hook to edge her Kirby gets a big opening. He's oh. gonna cash out the combo early with an upper up B, get that stage position. And you see Cool oh. Lime very confident with this spacing, going out there for testing Kirby off of the for stage the hook. Of the up there. That's what you want to do in this matchup. If Kirby is just going to hold in towards the stage, then it's very predictable when you can go out there and hit him. And you eventually you want to condition Kirby to start like jumping backwards. And that's when you play this like cat and mouse game off, off stage. Right, yeah, because sometimes you know you you don't even have to hit him, just threatening the move yeah. and cutting off their options and then starting your edge guard from stage again. He'll spike him this time. No, that time that's he goes right. for the yeah. up B. That's, yeah, that's how I think of it. It's like the first couple times you're going out there, you're teaching Kirby respect. And then one, <laughs> once Kirby's a little scared of you, you just go out and threaten. You make him retreat like that. And then you want to just contest the upbeat. Yeah, you want to yeah. force Kirby to waste some jumps off stage. You so have that you tilts at your disposal, run off aerials. Yeah. But yeah, if you're too Randy coming off. Oh, those dash dances. Gets through the up tilt. And that's Ooh. not quite enough, but such a tough recovery position. Yeah. You have to use all five jumps to even make it back. And again, you see uh, yes. Full Line has taught Kirby respect. Now Kirby has to jump backwards because he's scared of the threat of up there. Yep. And now he's coming from too far away to jump to the ledge. And when Kirby doesn't have the option to jump to the stage or to the ledge, and the only up it becomes very simple to close out that edge guard. And Full Line seems very aware of that. And it's doing a great job so far. Uh, Handling the Kirby recovery. Interesting to me, this is a very grounded Kirby. Um, yeah, just I don't know, I think about switching it up and going to the sky uh, after last game, but. Yeah, it's. Ooh, it's tough if you're not super comfortable with Kirby. It's a lot easier to play that ground game and fish for the up tilts. Right. But the problem is if Falcon wins neutral on the ground, you're taking so much more damage compared to if you're playing in the air and kind of forcing the fight for scraps. Yeah. We got a little standard spike. Yeah. That's going to kill. So quick ones. Cool Lime's probably feeling pretty good right now. Yeah. And Flathead's uh, not really DIing enough to stop the standard combos from working. Oh. And that's like such a big difference in this matchup. And, ooh, oh, great he's gonna make it back. Yeah. Looks a little bit uh, unsure of the movement, making it back there, like maybe a little underconfident, but does manage to pull it off. Look at this patience from Cool Lime. Yeah, but he's getting closed in on. Oh, but somehow he gets advantage. Yeah, Cool Lime. Oh, uh, looking confident, standing on the very corner of the stage, which is always a good sign. If you're feeling comfortable when you're cornered by Kirby, it just it shows how confident and comfortable you're feeling in the matchup in general. Just backing off of the ledge, holding oh. for that up tilt pressure. The up smash at zero leads to so many options against Kirby. Here it is. Especially getting, if you get that, that sour hit of yeah. the up air. Finding that extra up air descending onto the top platform. Uh, is the way that you extend that combo. If Kirby DI's up, you can't do that, and it makes it a lot harder. But Cole, I'm able to get the combo. And he's going to just go out yeah. there, yeah. When you have three stocks to play with, you can edge guard with that confidence. Cole, I'm looking good against Kirby. Yeah. Which is honestly like one of the tougher matchups uh, for Falcon. Yeah. 